and welcome to Disney Day One. One. Today, we are going to Magic Kingdom. If you haven't already checked out our last video, it was our travel day. So much fun. We are staying at Pop Century. Everything has just been so good. We're in a super plus room to the main lobby and the bar, and we're just super excited about it. But we're heading to Magic Kingdom. Before we go, like this video if you're excited for Magic Kingdom today, and subscribe down below so you don't miss any of our Disney World trip. But Let's go to Magic Kingdom. We have a lightning lane for Space Mountain, which is going to be Bryce's, I'm predicting, one of your favorite rides. We'll see. We'll see. So let, ah, 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 I'm so pumped. All right, we have made it to Magic Kingdom. The sun is shining. It's like perfect weather. Bryce, we passed Space Mountain. He was like, wait, what's that? That's huge. So I think he's starting to realize just how big Disney World is. And I already see some Christmas decorations up. So I am super, super excited we came. Right now, November 6th, is today? Yeah, November 6th, so already got the Christmas decorations up. Love to see it. Look at the Christmas decorations. Oh, it's so beautiful. But look at all the Christmas decorations. I think it makes it look even prettier. So you're getting to see the very pretty version. <laughs> look, oh my gosh, I want those in our house. We're walking and we're walking and we are here. Look at this. Oh, it looks good. That tree looks good. That's about the size tree I think we need in our house. How tall do you think it is? Like six of you? Maybe about five of them. Five of you? Oh, okay. Oh, look at the little nutcrackers. This is really um, getting me ready to decorate our home. As soon as we get back, we're doing Christmas. Because we can't be here. Oh, you smell that? It smells good. Everything smells good. <laughs> okay, anyway, we're about to see the castle for the first time, and then we have to head to Space Mountain because we might be running a little bit late for our lightning lane. It's okay. You know, you have a 15 minute grace period. We so might we be. Have the buttons for it. Yeah, we might be a little over, but I mean, how can you turn us away? We just got engaged. Like, this is our first ride as an engaged couple. So, oh. And ever. And ever. Okay, here we go. Castle shot. Incoming. See where it says. Ooh. Would you look at that? And with all the Christmas decor, it's great. Is it pretty good? Uh oh, emotional. Oh, Bryce just smelled the ice cream parlor. He, oh, oh, we're skipping our lightning lane. We want a lightning lane for that. But look how pretty. Oh, we're going this way. You don't know this. He doesn't know. He doesn't know where anything is, which is gonna be weird. I feel like he's gonna get me lost. Anyway, we are heading to Space Mountain. Um, we're gonna make it in time for our lightning lane because we, we're just, we're that good. All right, Bryce has used his first lightning lane and we are headed into Space Mountain. You ready? Uh-oh. Ah! Oh, look at my hair. My hair is like permanently stood up straight. That was so fun. Bryce was like, as soon as we got up and he saw, we're on this side, as soon as he got up and he saw like the space and how you could hardly see anything, he was like, oh, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. First trip to space. First trip to space, Success. check. Um, I think now we are starving and that will work you up. And I feel like I just did a workout. So I think we're going to have to go try to find something to eat. Maybe a little Pico's Bill. Maybe a little sweet treat. Definitely a sweet treat. Definitely a sweet treat. So we are feeling good. First ride, Space Mountain for Bryce. It was a good one. Good way to start. Good way to start. And let's see where we eat because I'm hungry. We have braved the crowds and have made it to Pico Spill Inn. We're going to try to get our table and then pick up our mobile order because it is it's hot. So picked up our Pico Spill. I got the chicken nachos. Looks great. Bryce got the chicken bowl and we got some churros, some queso. We're going to dig in. We'll let you know how it is after. He ate our food. It was good. It was really good. It was what we needed. But Bryce is about to have his first Disney churro experience. No chocolate sauce. Little bite out. It's good. Are you going to try the chocolate? We might need more of this. We need more. Should I go get another order? It came with like four. I've already had two, five, six, eight. That's a lot. It's very shareable. Oh, chocolate sauce time. Oh, <laughs> you like it? So we are gonna finish up eating these delicious churros, and then I don't know 
what we're gonna do. We had a lightning lane for Big Thunder, but it's down right now, so they gave us like a multiple experience. But we still have a individual lightning lane for Seven Doors and a lightning lane for Pirates. So lots of options. I think we might just like hang around, look around, take a second, because we like came and we were like go 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 because we were running behind. So I think we're just gonna relax and see how the day goes. So Bryce and I have been just walking around waiting for our Seven Doors lightning lane and we just stumbled across this beautiful part of the castle i think we maybe we'll go get a photo taken or something yeah all right we just got our photos taken i'm gonna insert them here if they're any good she waited for the fireworks to launch behind us which is really su sweet bryce was really scared because he didn't thought know something was gonna pop out <laughs> maybe thought mickey was gonna pop swim yeah. swim from the castle yes. um that was super awesome so we're just doing other little engagement photo shoots while we're here having fun so it's a little bit later we did some main street shopping but we are down for some laps so we are going in monsters ain't left boys when I point to this side, you folks say Mike. This side, Wazowski. Nice and loud, here we go. Wazowski. Wazowski. All right, so we just came out of Monsters Inc. Lab 4. It was really good. First Price's first show was a success. Many more to come in your future, just so you know, until the ride closes. But I have convinced Price to do our first competition of the trip, which is Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna see who wins. Um, if you watched our last trip, I am, I did terrible at this ride. Madison beat me by like 100,000 points and that's not gonna happen with Bryce. All right, comment down below right now who you think is gonna win. Me, 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 me. I'll bet you some ice cream. Actually, ice cream. I'll bet you some Gideon's cookies tonight. Oh, he's gonna be shooting everything like crazy now. So we'll see how this goes. Bryce's first time ever. I've done it a bunch, but I'm terrible. I hope I win. Will our relationship survive? <laughs> Just kidding. We're very competitive, though, so wish us luck. Well, well, well. She had a cheat code. She got all of that in one shot. I've never done this well in my entire life, and I hate that I had to do that well today, but I'm 1-0 right now. <laughs> I'll let her win. <laughs> you let me win. That was very sweet of you. My fiance let me win. Very nice. Uh, anyway, I think, let's see, how long is the people moving on? Let's hop in. It doesn't look too long. It looks like 10, 15 minutes. And then we have Pirates and then Big Thunder's back open. This is such a good day. Are you having a good Disney day? Great first Disney day. Favorite attraction so far. We've only done three. I play Seven Doors. Really? You like Seven Doors? It was outside. Yeah, it was nice. It was really pretty today. So anyway, we're gonna head to what will be your favorite ride, the People Mover. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is the TTA Blue Line. And what kind of a vlog would we be without the update on Tron, which is coming very, very soon, I believe spring 2023. It's going to be awesome. All right, so People Mover is your favorite ride, right? Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Um, lost Wild. my stomach a few times. Thrill ride. Um, anyway, he is very hard to vlog with because I... <laughs> I keep cutting off his head. Anyway, we are headed to another thrilling attraction, Pirates of the Caribbean. Is it Caribbean or Caribbean? Caribbean. Caribbean, Caribbean sure. actually. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> you can't change your mind. Okay, so we're doing that, and then we're heading to Big Thunder, finally. And then I think we might head out of the park, but don't go anywhere, because we are going to Disney Springs. We have dinner reservations at the hardest place to get dinner reservations, Homecoming. Chef Art Smith's Bubbles. Chef Art Smith's Homecoming, so. We're looking forward to that too. But we gotta get all these rides done first. On the way to Pirates, I just want a nice castle appreciation. Cause I don't know when the 50th castle is gonna come down, but it's gonna be soon. And it's gonna be very plain after. It's just like when you take down all your Christmas decorations. It just doesn't look the same, so. I just had to give it a moment. Ooh, the light shining behind Pirates makes it look kinda scary. The only question Bryce had about this ride is if you got wet on the ride. To so which I didn't have the correct answer for. I don't know if y'all can read that, but it says you may get wet. Whoops! We got back row of pirates, just us. I can't wait to see his reaction to this ride. 
It's the only drink I drink anymore, only at Disney. So we're gonna do that, show Bryce around the Polynesian. Yeah, I think it's gonna be really fun. A little drink before we head to Disney Springs for dinner. So let's get on the monorail and go to Polly. All right, so we have made it to the monorail. There are two types. There's the resort monorail that takes you to Contemporary, Polly, and Grand Floridian. Or there's just the express one that takes you just to the ticket center and connects you to Epcot. So we just got a seat at the Tambu Lounge, which if you don't know what that is, it's in the Polynesian Resort and it's right outside of Ohana, where you can get some of the Ohana treats, which we're gonna order some of the wings and the noodles, but we did get some drinks. I got a pina colada, of course, you know me, and Bryce got a back scratcher. <laughs> What's in the back scratcher? Let's see, Bacardi rum, dark rum, guava passion fruit with Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey and a bamboo back scratcher. There's just nothing better than that. So we got the noodles from Ohana and then we got the buffalo wings. They usually have the honey wings but the server was like, no buffalo. So we did. They look amazing. They're hot, they're fresh. We about to dig in. We'll let you guys know. This is like our appetizer before we go to dinner tonight. So we'll let you guys know how it is. So we just finished up at Tambu Lounge. Bryce thoughts? On Tambu Lounge. It was nice. Very, it was good. It was it was a <laughs> it was a nice good appetizer before we had to Disney Springs and walk around and let a lot of of these calories slide away. Even though we are eating homecoming and Gideon still. We're just we being we're just being very optimistic. So overall I think that's a great option. If you saw our January vlogs with my family um, we didn't love Ohana. We thought like the chicken, beef, like the main courses were not good. But there you can get all the appetizers, which we did really like. Good option, great choice if you can just like sneak in and get a seat. But anyway, we are at the Poly. We are taking the bus to Disney Springs. Well, a 15, 20 minute bus ride later from Polynesian to Disney Springs, we are here. Um, we are beelining straight for Gideon's to get our name on the wait list. Because last time I came with my family, it was like a three and a half hour wait. And they close at 11, it is seven o'clock. So we're gonna try to get on that list. If we can't, it's okay. We're coming back on Wednesday for that reason alone if we can't. But we're gonna try to head over there and hopefully be able to grab some cookies after dinner. We have a sad, sad news. The wait list is closed. They're not taking any more people. I'm dealing with it. Um, differently than Bryce is. Bryce seems fine. I am injured from this. I don't know why I came. <laughs> but she did say to check back around 10, 10.30. That's probably around when we'll finish dinner. And we'll just see. We'll stay here all night. <laughs> we'll stay here till, stay here till they make the next batch in the morning. But we'll just come back and see if they have any availability. Um, yeah, it goes pretty quick. It's 7 o'clock. They close at 11 and the wait list is completely full to even get in the line. So just keep that in mind. But we're just gonna shop around now. Um, we have dinner at 8.30 at Homecoming, which we're really excited about. Bryce has found the Star Wars trading post at Disney Springs. And we are already like just up looking at everything. It's, it's pretty big in here too. And they have a place where you can get lightsabers from the characters from the show, which is cool. Oh, there's my favorite. If you know me, you know I love C3. New meet and greet. <laughs> you can throw up. <laughs> oh, that needs practice. Anyway, we are in World of Disney and we are having 
It's too much fun. <laughs> I look like the bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. I think we need to eat something. <laughs> I think we're kind of going crazy. We have made it to homecoming and they just let us know that our table's ready after we checked in. So we're gonna go in, get our table. We need some food. All right, so we both got the fried chicken sandwich. We got it without lettuce, tomato, all that. It comes with the barbecue chips that look really good, actually. And then I, you know, being me, had to get the mac and cheese. So we're gonna dig in, eat this, and we'll give our review after. We're just hungry. All right, so we're out of homecoming. We will give our full review when we get back to the hotel because we have a lot to say about it, surprisingly. However, I want to show you guys where we are. <laughs> Look oh, happy boy. Uh, in we go. <laughs> you smell it? <laughs> I wish y'all had smell a vision <laughs> smell what we smell, but look how cool this place is. <laughs> Price said, I ain't never seen a <laughs> best spot in Disney. He says, You heard it here first. Oh my goodness. So, those are the cookies. That's the limited edition one. Chocolate chip banana bread, chocolate chip, pistachio. But look how big those are. <laughs> He's a happy boy. And look how big the cake slices are. It's like three whole slices, three whole sections of cake. We just got out of Gideon's. Rice to the good. We're gonna do a full try taste test. Try on. I was gonna say try on. Full taste test when we get back to the hotel. We are headed to the buses now. We have to get home to get the cookies. We are back in the room now. It was a long trek to get here, but we are back and we are tired. Quickly, just wanna review Chef Art Smith's homecoming at Disney Springs. You saw us eat it early in the video. We did not review it at the restaurant because it's not a good review. Um, our service was incredible. Our waitress was lovely. Food came out fast. I just think maybe, and maybe it's my fault for hyping it up in my head because it's like the hardest reservation to get. Everyone talks about it, but I just felt like we got the chicken sandwiches and they were average. And the mac and cheese was not up to par compared to like the other mac and cheese I've had on property at like Steakhouse 71 and La Cellier. I would give it a 5.5 out of 10. Good vibes, good service. The food was, maybe maybe I'm being harsh, maybe a six. I give it a six out of 10 because the food was edible. I'm not saying it was terrible, but you can get it anywhere. And if I'm coming to Disney, it was like $47 for our meals. Like we just got, I only got a Diet Coke and we got two waters. So it's really, really cheap, surprisingly. However, I think it's more of a lunch spot. I think if we were really hungry, that dinner would not have filled us up. So Bryce, what was your score? Give it a six and a half. Six and a half. The service was good. Yeah, that's about it. But he's more excited about. Yeah, I'm here waiting. <laughs> All right. Moving into something that will be a ten out of ten for Bryce. We got four. In case you were wondering, we just got four. I'm waiting on these. It's the first time she told me about them. Yeah. Uh, almost a year ago. We got four just chocolate chip because that's what we. Oh, let's see it. <gasps> Wait, compared to your hands, it, it still looks humongous. <laughs> Look at all those chocolate chips. I mean, that's a dream. I might eat this whole thing tonight. You can't eat the whole thing tonight. All right, here we go. First bite, first bite. <laughs> Is it everything Not you- Not even on the scale. Not even Over on the- past, past A million. <laughs> Was it everything you imagined? No, this will be gone tonight. Oh my gosh. We also picked up some milk from the Pop Century Food Court. So we're going to dig in. Oh, let me try mine. I mean, I had it before, but I, I need to remember. <gasps> this is so fast. I can't even put into perspective how big this is. This is, okay, let me put it into perspective. This is Bryce's iPhone 7? <laughs> 8? Eight? Eight? With yeah. the home button. It is bigger than. <laughs> Okay, let me try it. It's just so chocolatey. I can't imagine getting the triple chocolate. Mm -hmm. Like, this is enough. If you like chocolate, original. Go original. You go triple, you're going too far. Gideon's, 10 out of 10. Homecoming, it's just not something I would go to again. 
Gideon's definitely. I also just want to give a very, very big thank you. I don't know her name. We should have gotten her name. We couldn't get on the list because it was full. And just as we were leaving, we just went back and asked. We were like, hey, like, do you have any room on like this walk-up list? And she was like, just go ahead. And she just made our night 10 times better. Like that was the best part of this trip so far, I think. So anyway, thank you to her. That made us just have the best night ever. Um, we're gonna sit and enjoy these cookies. We're exhausted. We're gonna get some rest. We're gonna take some showers, get ready for Hollywood Studios tomorrow. Bryce is the biggest Star Wars fan. So we're doing all things Star Wars. So be sure to like this video if you haven't already and subscribe down below so you don't miss our next video, of course. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.